Hey y'all, it's Jasmine, aka the JD Series, and welcome back to my channel. Here you'll find all things fashion, lifestyle, brunch, a little bit of travel as well. If you're new here, hopefully you'll see something you like and hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. So y'all, I know it's been kind of like a little minute since I've talked to y'all, but no worries, your girl is back. I'm gonna try and upload every week. I need y'all to hold me accountable. So today's haul is gonna be a mini bag haul. Um, I probably have about six or seven bags to show you all, but to start, I'm going to be unboxing the Coach Pillow Tabby, y'all. I was looking all over for this bag. Now, let me tell you something now. Coach was all the rave when I was in high school, circa 01 to 05, child, I'm telling my age. But if you didn't have that signature C printed uh, Coach Low Shoulder bag, you, you was not that girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were not that girl. I mean, I had the purse. I remember I had like a lime green set with the lime green uh, printed belt, the lime green coach sneakers with the little Kangol like hat, all the rave, you hear me? So typically I'm not someone who follows trends. Um, you know, if I like something, it doesn't matter whether it's in or not, but coach hadn't been doing it for me, but they have stepped their game up in a major way. So whoever their designers, designers are, him or her, they deserve a raise. And that's probably why it was so hard for me to find this bag in the first place. So, um, here it is, it's still in the plastic. So, typically, um, I probably have like a few luxury items, like a few shades or whatever, but I'm starting to get more into purchasing luxury items, but to spend that amount of money, I typically have to marinate on items. And I guess I marinated on a coach purse too long, child, because they hadn't sold out. So I was like, okay, I really want the ivory color and I had saw the green, I saw the pink and I'm an AKA, I love pink and green, but I really wanted that ivory color and if I was gonna spend, you know, $500, I wanted to get something that I really wanted. I didn't just want to get a coach bag just to say, oh, I have the new pillow tabby. So my line sister who's an avid shopper child was on Dillard's and sent me the link and found the pillow tabby in ivory. So let's open it up and see. And I did get the large bag. I didn't get the mini. Um, so I said I probably paid like with tax and everything about $540, I believe, for this. They got it wrapped up pretty good. Um, so yeah, so I was really excited to find this because like I said, y'all have been looking for this bag forever in my Cardi B voice. Okay, maybe I should have unwrapped all of this before I started feeling a little dust bag that's in the inside. But this kind of looks small for this big purse. So we'll see. When I tell y'all they got it like, it's a lot of wraps, y'all. Okay, I don't know if I can get these off. Let's see. I gotta tell you so. Okay, here we go. Make it some leeway, y'all. Feel like it's Christmas, child, and, and mama didn't wrap the gift super tight, and it's hard to get the wrapping off because of the, the tape so strong. All right, come on. Right. Here we go. Okay, so I see that they have the short strap that's hooked up to it as well, and they also have the long strap, and I see that you can actually hook that on. So this little side part here for the long strap, or you can probably do, which I'll probably be doing, be doing the most is carrying it as a little shoulder bag or as a little clutch. That's more my style, more my speed. So there we go. So this is it. I love the little C. I love that it's padded. I really just love this color. I'm trying to get more into like neutrals and nudes and creams and ivory. So I was really after this color and I love the C. Like who, like they really, like y'all, Coach has really stepped their game up, seriously. There's a few other cute bags that I want. I don't know if they had like a come to Jesus meeting or what, but they got the right people on their team now. So it has looked like two compartments and then they have the zipper middle part where you can put some things in. So yeah, overall it's a nice bag. It has the coach tag on the inside. 
um, showing its authenticity channel. And it has a little coach tag right here. But yeah, overall, I love this purse. I love the snap. I just love the simplicity and chicness of the bag. So I'm here for the pillow tabby child. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So the next two purses are from H&M. And I don't know if I was halfway asleep when I was buying this, but I totally missed the mini and the mini quilted padded bag. Like, I totally missed that part. I didn't expect it to be this small. Like, look how tiny this is. Super, super cute. It's supposed to be a crossbody. I don't know. I just felt like it looked bigger on the model. I don't know. But Nanny Baby is about to get this first. So, this is how the inside looks. Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling it, child. I'm just, I don't know. I just typically don't be having successful purchases with H&M. I don't know what it is. Like, I never can find anything that's, you know, cute in store or with the clothes. And I will say, like, their accessories in store always are on point. But when it comes to, like, clothes, it just... It just never works out like I saw I was planning to do a haul around like Christmas of last year but I may have gotten like six items and only one of the six items came it was just I don't know so me and H&M have a love-hate relationship right now so this is definitely gonna go to nanny baby Miley come here want the first yes do you like it mm -hmm. does it look like a kid's purse yeah it looks like if you go on a play date Come tell the people. Come sit. Sit down. Ugh. So what you say about this purse? It looks like if I'm going out to eat or... You say like a play date, huh? Yeah, like if we're going on a play date and I want to like... If I, if I get like toys and I can put in like a purse and, and like a brain lipstick. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, <laughs> No, you get to keep it. All right. So, like, the next purse that I got, it is, I like this purse. It's a straw bag. And it's a red straw bag. And it has two straps here. And it's just, like, an open inside. No compartments. I guess the only thing I don't really like about having no compartments is... Because I'm not somebody that carries wallets, so I would definitely have to have a wallet of some sort so I can put, like, my IDs or credit cards or something in. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really, really cute bag. I love the color of it, and I think it's perfect for the summertime. Um, for that black quilted bag, I paid, like, $17.99, I believe. But for some reason, I can't find this on the website, so I'm guessing it's sold out. And I can't find my email with my order number, so I can't even tell y'all how much this, this is. So. Sorry guys, but I do like this person. That's why I say love, hate, love, hate, because I love this, but I hated the black bag, child. I also purchased two bags from Nasty Gal, and this is the white quilted bag. Let me get closer so you can see the actual quilting. It's a full leather bag, and it was regular $31, and I paid like $16 for it, so it was on sale. Um, it has a strap. It's going to be like a shoulder bag. Uh, it has a zipper at the top. And it doesn't have any side compartments, but it's pretty spacious in here. I can fit a lot of stuff in here, child. A whole lot of stuff. I love how spacious it is. And I just wanted to add some more bags. Like, I literally carry, like, the same bags over and over, y'all. So, um, I really wanted to have another white option for a bag because the um, other white option bag that I have is kind of like a double strap handbag. So, I thought this was a nice, spacious shoulder bag to add to my collection. And then I got another straw bag as well. And this one is black. And kind of like a tan color. I really love this. I think this is one of my favorite bags of the haul. That was pretty loud, I'm sure. But this is one of my favorite bags of the haul. I love the rain effect for the straps. And this is a woven tote is what it's called. And this was regular $48. And I paid $25 for it. Um, of course, no compartments in the straw bag. Maybe that's something that... 
people can uh people when they're making straw bags maybe that's something that they can put on their list to add some compartments in here child because otherwise like i said i'll have to get ink while it but yeah i really really like this purse i think this would be perfect to wear you know what your maxi dress is it's giving island island vibes it's giving beach vibes it's giving brunch. It's giving what it needs to get. So I really, really like this bag. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And whatever bags are available, guys, I'll link them in the description box. I do believe that these two are still available. I don't know about the pillow tabby. I know that black quilted bag. If y'all want the little mini bag, I know that's available. I like what I like and to me a fanny pack especially me someone who's always on the go I'm doing event planning so I need to have you know I, I can't care worry about carrying a purse or a crossbody bag the fanny pack is very very convenient I can put all my supplies in here my phone and I'm just go I'm ready to go perfect for festivals you know you have it right in front of you or you can wear it I see people have been wearing them like across here and I think that's a unique way to wear it but I typically wear mine around my waist and this one is from ASOS Curve Department so it is wide enough to fit your waist ladies if you're plus size and you worry about the fanny pack not being able to fit around your waist this is from the Curve Collection so you know things are made a little bit longer when it comes to like straps and everything and also this strap is also adjustable if it is in fact still you know too small you need to make it um, bigger or smaller this strap is adjustable and this fanny pack is pretty spacious it has um, I like to keep my cards in this one right here it's like a smaller zipper right here and then there's a big zipper on the outer side so definitely put my personal and really really important things like money in this top one because it's closer to me and then I'll probably keep my phone here I think a fanny pack is really resourceful hopefully this isn't sold out like I said I got this from ASOS maybe like last month so it might be sold out y'all I'm sorry if it is but I'll link it if it isn't from one of my favorite designers um page with Legit Amore she's a New Orleans designer but a few celebrities have worn her items and I have a few pieces of hers as well including my birthday outfit if y'all go look on my Instagram my pink fringe look that was all page um, and I also have like a cape from her as well. But I got this fringe bag from her and I think it's just such a super, super cute, fun bag. I love anything that's fringe. And it has these little sequins beads. So you guys can see. With the little snap at the top. And it opens up. And this is how it looks on the inside. And it has a little strap right here. I think every girl needs a fun bag in her bag collection, and this is definitely fun. I paid $65. Well, no, it was regular $65, um, but she had like a flash sale. That's why you gotta subscribe, child, so you can catch them flash sales. So she had a flash sale, and I think I might have paid like um, $50 for it, I think. Like I said, it was regular 65, so she had a quick little flash sale. I think it might have been like 25% off or 20% off. I don't remember, but I was gonna get this bag whether it was a sale or not, because I mean, look at it. It's everything, yes. All right guys, that's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, show you guys some love, hit that like button, share, comment, you know, do the works. And until next time, see y'all later.